Hey guys, so next up we're going to take a look at the Transformers Studio Series 112 Studio Series. I said that already. Transformers 1 Optimus Prime from the new movie. Um, I think he's part of the A-level assortment, just like Bumblebee was, so... There's going to be a bunch of him. But here's his robot mode. Side of the box. Back of the box. Side of the box. Bottom of the box. Top of the box. Yada yada. Now here is his vehicle mode, and I'm going to be straight up... Not the biggest fan of the vehicle mode, because uh, there, there's his arms. They're just they're 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 they're, they're just they're just right there. <sighs> that wish I could do it, but I, I wish they like fold it up up here or something. But what can you do? It rolls decently well, and my copy actually stays together pretty solidly, unlike some other people's. So, yay! But he rolls fairly well. That's all I could do, and that's all I could say about it. So to transform him, we're going to pull this piece off. And honestly, I'm never going to use it again after this review. <laughs> but separate the legs, pull the axe out. And then we're going to disconnect all of that, and then pull his hands out from the tabs on the legs. String the legs out. Pull that down, rotate this, and then flip out the foot. Open this up, and we'll get all of this straightened out, like so, and then fold all that down, close this up fully rotate the waist around flip the back around and that will just kind of rest back there flip this up rotate the head around straighten out your cameras and there you go there's optimus in his robot mode and i think the transformation is actually quite a bit of fun and i do like his robot mode i think his robot mode looks good it looks cool you can plug this piece down here if you want to I'm not gonna but he looks good his head is on a full 360 you can look up and down rotation at the waist legs can go forward back in and out turn right there knee joint ankle pivot toe bend rotation at the arms up and down at the shoulder Turn the bicep, elbow joint, wrist. So, you know, he has all the articulation you expect from a modern-day Transformer. He has an axe. Which is okay. <laughs> it's, it's an axe. He doesn't have a gun, which I find very strange. And he can hold the axe on the back. And he does come with the Matrix. Now, I don't know if the Matrix is in the movie... I, obviously, I haven't seen the movie yet, because I didn't go to Comic-Con, but <laughs> he can actually wield the Matrix, kind of like how um, MP Magnus did, where he's got, like, slits in his hands, and he can hold it like that. So that's cool that they figured out a way to do that in mainline. Um, and you can get it, like, above his head. So that's actually pretty neat. Um, now, aside from the vehicle mode, I do actually like this figure. Um, I think his robot mode's really fun. I like um, his transformation, and I think he's just a lot of fun to mess with. I don't like this all that much. Um... I'm not the biggest fan of the axe, but I do pose him with it. And I just, I think he's a fun figure to mess with. Um, he's not one of my favorite Optimus Primes or anything. Um, 
But just as a figure, he's fun to mess with. I do enjoy him. I enjoy mess I enjoy playing with him. I I just I like him. I think he's cool. Again, not the most amazing figure ever, but he's fun. And I don't really like how he looks like he's yellowed already. And I know that's by design, but it still looks weird to me. But that's eh, just one guy's opinion. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. And stick around for more. Take care.